Uh, good morning, Tim. Yeah, this is pretty big news in the aviation autonomous industry. A company called X-Wing out of the United States has just got more funding, but what they've shown off for the first time is a Cessna caravan that's been fitted out with autonomous equipment, not too much, mostly software, a few other sensors, and they have flown it by itself. They had people sitting in the uh, cockpit, of course, just in case things went wrong, but this is a big move because we've been talking about all of these drones, electric drones, being the next Uber for people around the place, whereas this, to start off with, with cargo, is a, a really significant move because these are smaller planes, and if you've ever been in a small plane when you're sitting there with a, with a uh, pilot, and I'm a Cessna flyer myself, a 172, uh, it's a very uh, close affair. So could you imagine sitting in there without a pilot? Uh, you're using the controls, the rudder and the um, the uh, control yoke, all those sorts of things. This is a really big deal. The thing that they have to get on top of, though, Tim, is communications with air traffic control, weather and that sort of stuff. That's the stuff that pilots really get busy with in mm. the air. But they're pushing for this across the country with a bit of a market for, like filling these planes up and just sending them out with uh, essentially a robot in there uh, flying it around the country. So uh, that probably will get authority in the United States before, say, one of those Uber taxis in the what, air. What about jets? Uh, can they fly themselves? They pretty much can. I mean, you can do auto land. Uh, they can fly uh, pretty much... Uh, around the world by themselves. And if you look at what the space shuttle's done in the past and other spacecraft, uh, they pretty much fly themselves up until the last second uh, because a human can't uh, do the calculations required in very high velocities. Uh, but uh, jets can do a lot themselves. And Airbus, you know, they've just completed a project where they've taxied, took off and landed and in the uh, vision that we have of the Airbus, you can see the pilot try to grab hold of the side stick and uh, he's told by the other guy, no, 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 don't do it. So Airbus have been really uh, strong in the fact that they want to make aircraft as, as uh, autonomous as possible. Uh, they're all saying, though, these are the help pilots because we still want them up front. Yeah, of course. I've got a, some friends that are, are pilots and, and they're not doing a lot of work at the moment. So good morning to Richie and all the gang. They're absolutely mm. sensational at what they do. So Go, Richie. They, these are guys <laughs> just to help. But what, what happens when something goes wrong? Now, you and I are mates. I'll put my hand up about that. We both love comedies. <laughs> Flying High had it right. What about that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're wondering, Flying High, which celebrated its 40th anniversary this year, is one of the greatest all-time comedies up there with Blazing Saddles, I'd say. And, of course, they had the blow-up autopilot. And so even they had it right back in the day that you want a pilot sitting in that seat, even if he's a blow-up guy. And uh, I think that uh, little bit of humour really shows to the psychology that pilots need to still be in the, in the cockpit for passengers. So if it goes down the cargo line, then fair enough, but, uh, you know, we need pilots there. And how good is flying high? Known as airplane across the world. Yeah, we had to be very careful about which scene we played there. But anyway, you've got some new gear <laughs> for, for the home <laughs> office, tell us. That's true. All right, let's uh, go to the uh, overhead camera here. So home office, you really need to up your uh, Wi-Fi game. This is just available in Australia. I've got the first one from D-Link. This is their new uh, mesh Wi-Fi 6 router. I've got the box here because I'm actually using it to broadcast to you uh, through the internet. So this is a fantastic thing. What it does has more connections and they will communicate faster to the internet. So you've got a number of TVs, uh, you know, home computers working uh, at the moment through uh, COVID, then this is the thing for you. You'll get two models, one for 300, one for 600 bucks. So that's one thing for you. The other thing is one of these great little devices. Now, Jabra, they make great headphones, but they also do uh, professional audio products. This little saucer looking thing is uh, something you can use at home for 500 bucks at the C Speak 750, and you can use it as a voice conferencing system. So if you think about it, and you don't want to have, say, headphones on all day, you can use one of these, noise cancelling, very good, put it in the middle of the uh, room, and that way you've got a professional 
uh, type of conferencing system to go with your Zoom calls and stuff like that. So I'll just drop that out down there. Here now is another little news, and it's free. So this is the uh, Zevi One. It's a great vlogging camera from Sony, and Sony have done a free update so you can use these as a webcam. So you can u up your uh, webcam game, and I've got it here taking a shot of myself, uh, as you can see there. That is a little... Um, a printed version of me that I got done at CES a few years ago. And uh, the great thing is you can set the autofocus and get a good picture going eventually. But that is uh, available from Sony now. So look for them to uh, download as soon as possible mm. your chance to uh, use a decent webcam. And I just want to show you quickly this from Belkin. We love Belkin, as you know. And they've got a little charger here. So this charger has got – it's so simple, Tim, but it's so good. So you fold this out slide it out, and you've got somewhere to charge your phone and actually rest it so you can see it. So you can sit it there in your room or whatever. Would have been good for flying if we were flying again, but what a great idea. Just simple from Belkin. That's about 85 bucks, but uh, some cool stuff there for your home office to get you through. Juro, as always, comprehensive. We went flying high. We did it all today. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Cheers, Tim.